Hi everyone, here's our math problem for today. Find the positive integer solutions of 4 raised to a minus 36 raised to b equals 28. This is a Diophantine equation and we are interested in finding all the pairs of positive integer solutions if they exist. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by writing 4 and 36 in exponential form. 4 is 2 squared and 36 is 6 squared. Now let's recall some laws of exponents. If we have the quantity x raised to a all raised to b, we can apply the power of power rule of exponents to get x raised to a times b. We simply multiplied a times b. But since multiplication is commutative, we can also write this as b times a. And getting its converse, we can rewrite this further as x raised to b all raised to a. The reason is we notice that there is an exponent to here, there is an exponent to here, and there is a minus sign. So we know that we can turn this into a difference of two squares. So let's carry that out. This is what we have. We interchange the exponent inside and the exponent outside to get this expression, the same explanation for the second term. Now since we have a difference of two squares here now, then we can now rewrite this applying this formula. In here our x is 2 raised to a, our y is 6 raised to b, and so we now have this result. The difference of 2 squares, 2 raised to a, and 6 raised to b is now equal to the product of the sum and difference of these two numbers. Again, we copy equals 28 at the right side. Let's now concentrate on this equation at the right side. Notice that the base here is even. So if you raise 2 to any positive integer, then 2 raised to that number would always be an even number. And 6 is an even number raised to any positive integer then 6 raised to that number is also an even number. And the sum of two even numbers is another even number. Also, the difference of two even numbers would always be an even number. Another thing that we observed here is a and b are positive integers, and we are adding 2 raised to that positive integer plus 6 raised to that positive integer. We know that the result of 2 raised to a plus 6 raised to b must be a positive number. And since 28 is positive, then this second factor must also be positive because positive times positive is equal to positive. We also note here that 2 raised to a plus 6 raised to b must be greater than the second factor because we have here addition and we have here subtraction. Now let's take a look at positive 28. What are the possible factors of 28? We have 1 times 28, we have 2 times 14, and we have 4 times 7. We want the factors to be both even and both positive. So clearly, 1 times 28 is not that pair of solutions because 1 is an odd number. So let's remove it. Also, 7 is not an even number. So let's remove 4 times 7. We are only left with 2 times 14. And we said that the first factor here is greater than the second factor. So it is 2 raised to a plus 6 raised to b that is equal to 14. And 2 raised to a minus 6 raised to b is equal to 2. And so we now have this result. Now, we can solve these two equations simultaneously. This is now what we have. Adding 2 raised to a plus 2 raised to a, we have 2 times 2 raised to a. 6 raised to b minus 6 raised to b is 0. 14 plus 2 is, of course, 16. And solving now for a, we divide both sides by 2 to get 8 at the right side. And 8 can be written as 2 raised to the third. And so clearly, a is equal to positive 3, which is a positive integer solution. So a now is equal to 3. Then substituting this result, a equals 3, to one of the equations we solved simultaneously a while ago, we now have 2 Instead of a, we have this 3, copy all the rest, but 2 raised to the third is 8, and 14 minus 8 is 6, so we now have 6 raised to b equals 6, and finally, b is equal to 1. So the value of b now is equal to 1, and let's check if our answer is correct. Substituting the results for a and b to the original equation, we now arrive at 64 minus 36 equals 28, which is indeed a correct equation. So our final answers are a equals 3 and b equals 1, and both are positive integer solutions to this given Diophantine equation. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.